Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Lockdown Six World. Today we talk about two big stories in Sino-US relations in Second World War. One is uh, Flying Tigers, and the other is uh, Dixie Mission. After 1937, uh, nationwide resistance against Japanese aggression, China suffered great loss in its limited air forces, uh, with about 300 aircrafts destroyed and most of its pilots lost in the air battles. China was outdated in military technologies and incapable of making airplanes itself. Uh, well, Japan uh, had already deployed 2,100 aircrafts and continuously in supply. The facing Japanese savage bombing in China had to seek for assistance in the world. Initially, the Soviet Union supported China's uh, resistance by sending large amount of the aircrafts and the pilots, the hoping more Japanese troops could be bogged down in China instead of attacking the Soviets to the north. Until 1941, when the Soviets reached a neutral agreement with Japan, an outbreak of the war with uh, Germany. The Soviets had provided more than 200 million US dollar low interest loan to China uh, with tremendous tanks, artillery, and other equipment, especially over 1,285 aircrafts. The uh, Soviet pilot had destroyed 195 Japanese fighters uh, with the sacrifice of 227 uh, pilot casualties. Since 1941, the U.S. government agreed its retired pilots and technicians hired as civilian volunteers to help China fighting against the Japanese. In August 1941, uh, the American Volunteer Group in China's Air Force was established, being called AVG, or Flying Tigers, uh, due to the Tiger logo on the aircraft. And some people say it was the shock logo design misregarded as a tiger. Add to the tiger logo, it was designed by Walt Disney himself, the creator of Disney Company. It was a tiger with the wings and the tail up forward, together with the body, formed the character V for victory. As commander of the Flying Tigers was Claire Lee Channel. Channel was born in Texas in September 1893, and after his graduation from aviation school uh, in 1919, he stayed as a pilot instructor uh, in the Army. He was talented and skilled in flying aircraft, uh, yet very slow in military promotion. When he retired from the Army in April 1937 at the age of 43, he was still a captain. After retirement, he initially he hoped to be a farmer in Louisiana, yet very soon he received a letter from China uh, being invited as an advisor for China's Air Force. It was believed the job for only three months actually it would uh, take him for almost eight years. He said he was a farmer. Uh, to the uh, occupation on uh, his passport. When in China, he was uh, highly regarded uh, by the government and the First Lady Song Meiling, who had worked as the uh, General Secretary of uh, China Aviation Committee. China helped in establishing the American Volunteer Group in China Air Force by purchasing 100 the Hawk P-40 aircrafts from America hiring 110 pilots and 150 technicians. He was appointed first as a colonel and then uh, promoted as a brigadier general, a major general by U.S. Army. And before his death in 1958, he was again promoted as lieutenant general. So he was often called as general of flying tigers and also a well-known figure of legend in America. In the battle uh, secured Kunming in December 1941, the uh, first battle of Flying Tigers, it uh, successfully uh, destroyed the six Japanese bombers and uh, damaged another three. 
uh, without any loss to itself, uh, which greatly encouraged the Chinese morale against the Japanese. Until July 1942, when it was merged into the Air Force group of uh, U.S. Army, it totally destroyed 150 Japanese aircrafts and damaged another 29, with its loss of 73 aircrafts and 26 pilot casualty. In the following battles of uh, safeguarding the uh, China bomber role and the hump, uh, U.S. Air Forces uh, totally accomplished transportation of supplies of 730,000 tons, with a loss of 1,659 pilots and 500 airplanes. That's a great contribution to China's anti-Japanese war. In 1947 to 1949, in China's Civil War, China it helped the nationalist government in civil aviation transportation for troops and supplies. So at the time, and a little bit while later, he was regarded as a bad guy by the Chinese communists. In 1947, uh, he was married with uh, Chen Xiangmei, or Anna Chano, uh, a Chinese journalist. They had two daughters. After Chano's uh, passing away in 1958, uh, Chen Xiangmei began her own uh, life of legend in America. Not only successful in doing business, but also uh, worked as an advisor for over eight uh, U.S. presidents. In 1980, as President Reagan's special envoy, he visited China and warmly received by Deng Xiaoping. And Deng said, America has 100 senators, but only one Chen Xiangmei. A decimation. In December 1941, the Japan raided Pearl Harbor, and the Pacific War broke out. For uh, defeating Japan sooner, American government increased military assistance to China. Uh, meanwhile, it also interested in the communist armies who uh, engaged in guerrilla wars, uh, Japanese occupied areas, and hoping more cooperation uh, against the, uh, the enemy. Early 1943, the U.S. diplomats to China, John Patton Davis, they proposed to General Joseph Stavell, the Allied Force uh, commander in the theater of China, Bomber, and India, that a military observation team sent to Yan'an, the headquarters of a Chinese communist. Uh, Stavell agreed and uh, helped him in preparing a memo and copied to U.S. State Department and also to John Hopkins, uh, the advisor of President Roosevelt. U.S. government uh, approved uh, the suggestion, yet faced a rejection from uh, Jiang. And for China's nationalist government, didn't hope that U.S. government officially contact with Chinese communists. The under pressure from America, Jiang uh, had to uh, give in. With the help of uh, General Stavell, a U.S. military observation team to Yan'an were soon set up and with the code of a Dixie mission. The word of Dixie means the Southern States of America, uh, especially the Southern Confederate in American Civil War. Uh, that's uh, compared to the word of uh, Yankee and to the North. Besides, uh, Dixie is also the name of a popular song about the Romans in the South, and which had been uh, used uh, temporarily as a national anthem for the Confederate. Most of the team members could speak Chinese. Uh, they were from U.S. Army, Navy, Bureau of, of Strategic Intelligence, U.S. First uh, Headquarters, and its Embassy in China, with uh, Colonel David Barrett, a military attache in China as a team leader. Uh, the final success of Dick's mission came from the effort of General Stavell. Joseph Stavell uh, was born in Florida on March 19, 1883. He graduated from West Point in June 1904, uh, instructed the language learning of French and Spanish. In 1911, he was dispatched to a military station in China and worked as U.S. Army Chief of Staff in Second World War 
and in charge of American uh, military assistance to China. He was candid and outspoken, and brief on the battlefield, yet didn't get along uh, with the Chinese leader Jiang, and called him peanut, that means a boring person. He uh, publicly criticized Jiang's government inactive in fighting uh, against the Japanese, and Jiang urged the American government to recall the General Stavell. In October 1944, Stavell uh, left Chongqing and returned to America. In September 1945, he attended a Japanese surrender ceremony on the battleship of uh, Misery and also presided Japanese surrender on Ryukyu Islands. And for the coming of the observation team, the Yan An gave high regards and called them as comrades. And as the most exciting and uh, constructive event since the anti Japanese war, it was also regarded uh, as the beginning of foreign relations between China's communists uh, with the United States. On July 22, 1944, nine members of the first group of the team arrived at Yan An, and the second group came on August 7. Chairman Mao received them warmly at the airport. At most, uh, there were 45 members of the team stayed uh, in Yan An. Later, with uh, changes in situation and task, the name of the team changed from observation to coordination. Then on March 11, uh, 1947, uh, U.S. airplanes picked up the last three members of the team and it came to the end of Dick's mission. With total 965 days, Meanwhile, the 300 Southern Nationalist Armies are ready to uh, attack Yan An. And China's civil war broke out very soon. The Chinese Communists had highly expected the team and uh, also provided any necessary assistance. During the first two months of their arrival, the team members submitted about 112 reports to the U.S. government, most of them about military intelligence but also with uh, situation analysis and uh, policy suggestion, including how to correctly see uh, the Chinese uh, communist, China's uh, future, and uh, sino us relations. Uh, with the surrender of the Japan, uh, U.S. government showed more favoritism to nationalist government, and the intensifying of the Cold War between East and West they escalated the uh, U.S. hostility to China's communism and diverged them further. Uh, China had to uh, stand closer with the Soviets and the Socialist bloc. Meanwhile, uh, a few of the team members lost their jobs uh, when they came back to America. The team leader, Davy Barrett, was uh, deprived of his uh, promotion uh, brigadier general and was falsely accused. After he was first to leave the U.S. Army, he came to the University of Colorado uh, for uh, teaching Chinese language. John Stewart uh, Service was arrested by FBI in the name of espionage for the communists. And then he was uh, released for innocence uh, by the court. Finally, he returned to U.S. Uh, State Department. After the Second World War, uh, with U.S. miscalculation in China policy, and the radical anti-communism Marxism, America not only lost China and became hostile for over 20 years to the new China under the communist leadership until the bilateral normalization in 1972 when Nixon uh, visited China. Hopefully, uh, this period of history of uh, flying tigers and decimation can be something helpful to today's Sino-U.S. relations with uh, ideology and a Cold War mindset no more as a barrier to mutual engagement and national interests, uh, with less confrontation and more cooperation. Above is today's program, and thank you for your watching, and see you next time.